This is the Vera 813. Simple, compact bit holder. It's popular for EDC. This is the Vera 813R. It has the wrap adapter on it. Otherwise, it's the same as the A13. This is modified. If you are familiar with EDC Outlaw at edcoutlaw.com, you will immediately recognize this gimmick on the back. And if you are familiar with EDC Outlaw, you will also know how difficult it is to get in on his custom batch runs of modified tools. I never seemed to be in the right place at the right time to get in on one of EDC Outlaw's batch runs. I, I got frustrated and decided to just try an idea myself. I believe that EDC Outlaw, it's just a cylinder. It's a magnetized cylinder. It doesn't have the hex shape. You can't drive it. Whereas this one, I thought potentially I could, I could drive it. As I explain how I made this, you'll see why you wouldn't want to drive this. I'm sure that there are people that had this same idea and were wondering how well this would work. These are half by one inch set screws. Half inch by one inch set screw that I bought on Amazon. Okay, and this is the tap. It's a half by 13. But the set screw has to be modified before it gets threaded into the plastic. This is about this much of it needs to be cut off and uh, it, it can be a little challenging to get that cut off straight. This is hardened. Um, it's, it's at least surface hardened. I don't know if it's hardened all the way through, but it's at least surface hardened. I used the same setup that I used to cut off bits, to cut off anything hardened, like a hardened bit, hex bits. If you've watched my channel, you know what I'm talking about. So I put this in that rig and I cut this off with a, with a small rotary tool. And then I had to modify what was left. I wanted to be able to put a neodymium magnet in the end because I needed, I wanted to have the magnetic retention. Otherwise the bit's just gonna fall out and then what's the point in carrying that around and losing the bits? So my first idea in modifying the cutoff piece was to use this. I made this holder out of this Delrin and I thought well maybe I can grind out the appropriate sized divot for this to, to go into. You couldn't see through this after I cut this off. Okay so I had the bottom surface to deal with. I wanted to get the magnet in there and I wanted to get the magnet close to the bit that I was going to put in there. So the little grinding stone did not work very well at all. So I, re I just ended up using this and, and going in and cutting that out like this until I got a little bit of a divot there to hold the neodymium magnet. So then I had this little cut off piece of set screw ready to put into this. So now I needed to prepare the A13. So I put this, put the A13 into the chuck, put the drill bit into the Jacobs chuck, and I drilled in only about the amount of the cutoff. Because I really didn't know where the plastic ends and the metal begins. And I think, I think the metal goes to about right here, right just past this bulb. This type of plastic leaves a pretty messy burr, so I used the I used the Weeha Universal Razor Edge Scraper to clean that up, and then I threaded this in there. So the magnet is not visible here. The magnet is on the underside of this. which does reduce its magnetism.
this one is the weaker between these two magnets. Let me give you a good view of the fit and the finish. You can see right here that there's weakness because the plastic got real thin right here. You can see it bulged out and there's weakness there. So that's why I would never drive anything on this end. So then I ended up with this. I was fairly satisfied with it. The thing that I'm bummed out about is, is that I wanted to be able to store the bits in here this way because if you have this in your pocket, you know, that's a sharp edge that's gonna cut up a pocket. So I wanted to be able to put the bits in this way, which yeah, you can't, you can do, but it's, it, it's sloppy, it's messy, I don't like it. It would be nice if this was deeper than it is. But anyway, so then I wanted to try to create a bit with a keychain on it and uh, so that I had some kind of a keychain. So drilling a hole into a hardened bit is a little challenging. So my first thought was pure carbide drill bit. I got one of these spare bits, I ground, I ground off a flat, and then I hit this with the carbide bit. And it worked. I don't know if maybe I was a little chicken to apply as much pressure as I needed to get the bit to work, but I backed off on the bit. It didn't feel like it was working very well. Um, and I had these carbide tipped, and I ended up using this with a lot of pressure, a lot of downforce. And I finally got through that bit, and I got this keychain. And you can, you can see that the wall thicknesses there are really thin, but I got it. So that's how my modification worked out. I have not carried this around with me at all. Um, I, I wanted to get the YouTube video for it done before I carried it around and, you know, potentially lost something because, you know, this is just magnetic retention. It's not real confidence inspiring. And, uh, you know, I can't really tell you what it's like to put this in a pocket and carry it around all day. I don't, I don't know that I ever would actually. Most likely the scenario is gonna be that it's gonna go in something like this. So this is the most likely scenario right there. Let me just show you how this fits on a Knipex. So this is the, this is the Knipex set with the two these aren't the extra, extra small or those really, really tiny ones that are kind of popular. These are, I think, one size up from that. And then uh, there's these elastic loops. So the, the Hodset H810BHK, that fits in here pretty well. It does slide around, but it won't come out because of the size of it, it stays in there, it won't go, it won't slide out the bottom and it won't slide out the top. So that, that hots it fits on there really nice. The Vera 813, it doesn't, it, the, the retention does not inspire confidence. Um, so, I might put this, you know, I mean, I might put something like this here and then, and then put it in, you know, this Maxpedition pouch like this, along with my other Maxpedition pouch like this and carry this. I don't think I'm gonna put this on my belt with this. Um, this is gonna get lost, I think. So that's how I modified a Vera 813 into a EDC Outlaw style custom bit holder. Alright, hope you found that interesting and thank you for watching.